Hello, welcome back. I thought I'd do a bit of an experiment for this video. I thought, hmm, looking at the prices on, say, Watchfinder and all them platforms, the prices are a bit high. They must be paying quite decent prices. So I thought, I'll have a little gander. I've got quotes off Watch Trader, Watchfinder, and Goldsmiths, which is basically Watch the Switzerland. Before I tell you the offers and everything, just to let you know, sell your watch privately, because you'll see why. Uh, I did this on the Top Time Triumph that I've got on my wrist now. Full carry pouch and papers. So, full set, excellent condition. So, basically the best it can be. Now, all these offers are subject to reductions due to them looking at the watch and seeing a little micro little scratch and then knocking off about £400 off the offer. So, Take these a grain of salt, they're bad, but they will be worse when you send the watch to them. Before I get into the prices, I just want to say, I did try about six or seven different watch buying platforms, but these three are the only ones that are actually really decent and pretty straightforward. A lot of them wanted to know your blood type and everything, so I don't really want to give that information. I find it a bit silly when some of them, the whole page is a form like when you've got to give your address and everything. Why well, have you got to give your address to get a watch valuation? I find it a bit silly. These companies got to realise that the people that want to trade these in can't be asked to sell privately. So they want an easy process instead of going through a massive form. You think they can be asked to do that? I don't know. It seems a bit weird. So you should really have a really small submission box. And these three did. So bravo. Not for the prices though. Not bravo. Anywho, watch finder. Here we go. Your bright in top time evaluation is up to £2,920. Now, bear in mind, it gets worse, but this is very, very low. Now, they're on the private market for about 4000 now on Crow24 and eBay. So, this is a bit lower. Now, I think they have these on for 4250 on their website. So, they're making a decent margin. And now, I'm not hating on the companies for trying to give offers like this i know the whole premise is them buying low selling high that's the whole point in their businesses i'm all okay for that but when you're stealing and selling then i'm not comfortable with it because this is robbery really oh by the way i forgot to mention 2022 model so it's only two years old so <sighs> there's watchfinder now once you send that off to watchfinder i'm pretty sure I'd probably be offered like 27 because the straps worn a bit because it's yellow on the inside and yeah I'll probably get 27 from watchfinder so based that on you could get up to four grand on the used market it's not worth it is it but as I said that's the best one so it's gonna get worse from here next we've got oh, I've got to mention as well chrono hunter leave me alone like they said, oh, we received details of brightly top time timepiece you would like to sell on Chrono Hunter. Stop stalking me. I didn't even fill it in. And also with Watchfinder, when you do a quote, they automatically sign you up for the newsletter. So you get Watchfinder propaganda automatically. It's not on. Don't like it. But next up, we've got Watch Trader. Now, they say they would ha be happy to purchase your watch. Purchase. For between £2,300 and £2,500. Now... It's even more robbery compared to Watchfinder, but they can do a consignment basis between 2,800 and three grand. Now, if it was me, I'll do that any day, but if it was me again, I'd sell privately and not give it to any of these people. But yeah, that's Watch Trader. Robbing my love. So last one, which is horrendous. I mean, when I got this offer and I opened the email, I copied the model number to make sure it was correct and I put it in right because it's an absolute joke. Now, bear in mind that this is Watch of Switzerland, which I went through Goldsmiths, but they're the same company, really. When I, when I show you this, I just want a moment of silence because it is ridiculous. So, here it is. Are they having a laugh? £1,320 for an hour I sale. Oh, but if you want a gift card, you can get £1,350. Hmm. You might be able to afford a TSO for that. 
This is disgusting, I must admit. I think it's wrong how they offered that much money. £1,320. Huh? Please note that this offer is valid for only seven days. Oh, oh no, be quick. Absolute joke. As I said for the watch finder one, this is subject to when they see it and then they inspect it by one of their professionals. Now, I hope that's opened your eyes to what they offer you. I know there's probably people out there that want to know how much they offer and don't want to give all the details and I don't blame you. To sell your watch privately, you'll get so much more money. This stuff kind of annoys me. It's the same as like we buy any car and everything like that. They just absolutely rob you. But this is just for people that can't be asked to sell their watch privately. And I understand some people have concerns that, you know, they could be scammed and everything. But you were getting scammed by these lot. So it's no real difference. Honestly, ridiculous. Thank you very much for watching. On the sad note, subscribe, video, playlist.